Hi, I'm Nick McCormick. I work in the area of structural health monitoring. Uh, what we're interested in is making measurements of structures to give you an indication of their condition and how long they're likely to last. We use lots of different techniques. Uh, we use point sensors to make measurements, but more recently, because of the size of the UK infrastructure, we've developed techniques to make measurements from very high-resolution images, and by comparing two high-resolution images, we can actually make very, very fine measurements over the whole field of view. Basically, what we're trying to do is find ways of putting sensors or making measurements of structures, which could be anything from uh, bridges down to really quite small components. And by making measurements on those structures, we can actually help to determine their condition to see how long they can last for. We've, we've developed this technique called digital image correlation, which we've used in the laboratory. I mean, I first started working on in the, in the mid-1980s. But in those days, we didn't really have sufficiently high-resolution cameras or, or enough computing power to really do it very, very interestingly. But more recently, um, the fact that, that cameras have become low cost, we can get very high-resolution cameras, got lots of processing power. We can actually then analyze two photographs, which is very much a sort of before and after kind of scenario. And we can, we can track small areas of the image as it moves from the before to after, if you like. And from that, we can actually measure how the structure has actually moved. So this is the camera uh, that we use. In this case, we've actually got the longest of the lenses that we might use for that. So this actual lens setup produces a very small field of view. Um, but we can use that to make quite accurate measurements from quite long distances away. So realistically, uh, looking at a structure that might be 15, 20 metres away, we can make measurements that are maybe a tenth or even a hundredth of a millimetre in terms of movement. Uh, this particular camera has a 60 megapixel back and that's about the largest that's commercially available at the moment. Now that means that if we look at a very small area we can make a very precise measurement of very small changes in shape but equally if we look at a large structure we can look at a very large area and still make very useful measurements from that and that's and being able to make the measurements quickly and easily is actually what a lot of it's about. For example, if you were making measurements of a bridge over a railway, you don't actually have to close the railway whilst you make the measurement. Whereas using conventional techniques, you might have to put sort of posts and things underneath to measure how the bridge moves up and down as it's loaded. With the appropriate choice of lenses uh, and cameras, you can use the same techniques for things for different scale, down from sort of near microscopic all the way up to large scale structures like a full bridge. I think the largest specimen that we actually have looked at has been Hastings Pier and that's about 250 metres long and we took lots of photographs and stitched them together to make a very very high resolution panoramic image that was about one and a half gigapixels in size and then from that actual uh, image we could then actually make measurements by comparing sort of before and after and in this case the, the, the before image was actually um, in the summer of 2010 and the after image unfortunately was after there was a fire at Hastings Pier and so we went back uh, post sort of fire damage uh, and that was kind of quite a good opportunity for us because actually it gave us a chance to look at something where there'd been quite a large degree of change so much so that we actually had to develop lots of new analysis methods to actually deal with the data and so from our photographic methods and our photographic record that we had of the structure we could actually assure them that there was actually minimal change to the structure.